Right, you can do it, Sam. I believe in you. I believe in you. Three. Two. We're stuck. You're gonna have to track some other path. Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today. It is a snowy one. Sam's home because it's a snow day. It's a snow day. Why are you going out, Laura? Why? I'll tell you why. Oh, he did it! He did it. Good job, Sam. I knew you could do it. One thing about Sam, he always leads me in the right direction. Always. You know how, like, there are really good people in the world, and then there are people that want to have fun and do things their own way. Sam is a really good person. Always obeys the rules. Fun. You want to have fun? Way. Do it your own way? Wow. Obey the rules at the same time. And obey the rules at the same time. That's the way you should do it. I'm more of like a, I believe in rules, though. I do. But I'm more of a, not like that. I am like that, but I'm a little bit less like that than Sam is like that. But anyway. Get to the point. We are out this morning and we got little baby Lexi here. We got our cat. How's she doing? So we had to put her in a grate last night. <clears throat> Wrapped her all up with the heating pad. Keep her warm. She's getting spayed today. So we are off at the crack of dawn. It is 7.08 and we are taking her to the vet. We've left the girls at home. Just woke them up and left. They're probably living it up. So happy. No noise. No nagging. No nothing. They're probably listening to their phones while they're getting dressed. They're probably just enjoying life. Even though they have a list of things that they have to do before we get back. And for all the people who are saying that they just had a big huge storm. A lot of people will be messaging me. Stop messaging me when you get a storm. If I hear about it, it always means it's going to happen to us. So we did. We got a big storm in the night. It is all white out there again. Hopefully that's the last storm. It's not going to be the last storm. It's not going to be the last storm, is it? It's 8 p.m. 8 a.m. and she's already booked there. She's already gone. She's such a good little kitty. <gasps> the heck? She's such a good little kitty. She's just, uh, she's just completely comfortable in that little crate. Anyway, she's getting spayed. We, they offer me to do it in, by laser. You can do it by laser. So what laser means? Do you know what laser means, Sam? No, I've never heard it of that. It cauterizes the cut so that they heal really fast. But she's gonna have to have a cone and she's gonna have to be inside, I think. With like, the laser? Yeah, even with the laser, she's still gonna have like recuperation time where she can't run around and stuff. But a laser costs a little bit more, but it cauterizes the cut and makes it, it so much better. So I also booked Ollie in. <laughs> oh, you gotta do the cone thing at the barn. I know, so they said she's gonna maybe have to stay in the house, which is not gonna go good because our dogs chase the cats and even our cat, we have a house cat, like I'll never have another house cat because the dogs, uh, she pretty much stays in our bedroom all the time. She go, she just hangs out upstairs, but bringing a cat into our bedroom with her, I don't know, I might have to stay in Gabby's room. Actually, that might be the best thing. That's probably what we're gonna do. But I told him I was worried about the fact that she's an outdoor cat, bringing her in, getting her climatized while she heals to the weather and then sticking her back outside again. They said she should be fine. Anyways, I didn't want to get them both done at the same time because I don't want to deal with like, I don't want to deal with recuperating um, animals at the same time. Like, actually, that probably would have been better. maybe would have been better bringing them both in and putting them both in Gabby's room. I don't know, that was probably been so much better. I don't know what I was thinking. Darn it. Well, anyways, all these getting done really soon too. In March, at the beginning of March. And then I told her that I have two puppies that I need to bring in too. <laughs> They're not quite ready yet, but soon. We are home. I'm on the chair in Sophie's room. I love this chair. I love having it here. That's Sophie's blanket. It's part of our couch. Also, I have this blanket that I made for Sophie last year. And nobody ever uses it. It's really nice and heavy and really nice and warm. But the fun thing about having this dragon, this spirited dragon, is that we all come together and hang out in Sophie's room because it's really warm, the girls and I, and we do school in here sometimes, and it's kind of like a family deal doing the dragon. Like, the bad part of even when we feed her at night, Gabby always comes in with us, like, even though it's not Gabby's thing. Super fun. Of having a dragon is when you want to eat, 
You can't eat because you have to feed the thing. Yeah, so we're just having breakfast right now. Then we're going to feed her. Don't mind the mess of Sophie's room. Sophie's having an egg and some toast. And then we're going to feed her. And then we're going to do math. And then we're going to do all the other things that we have to do in a single day. Like, I keep saying I'm going to make a video. But I'm so busy. It's hard for me to make a video of a day in the life. Right, we have a plan. We're still working on homeschool. We have a plan. Don't look at Gabby's messy room. Her messy room. Well, I think like a room without a bed made is messy. Okay, so they just called. We have to pick up Lexi. I have to print off another worksheet for Gabby to do while I'm gone. Go down and get everything we need for Lexi. We have a plan for Lexi. All right, I tried shoveling the driveway. That did not turn out that well. No, it was like a lot of snow. We got a lot of snow. A lot of snow we got. All right, the pink thing is. There's Ollie. Wait, is this? <laughs> what light is this? Okay, good. I jumped and I was sorry. We get the pink bed and the kitty litter. You give me the pink bed and you grab it. Can you grab it or? Kid litter. Cats don't use it anyway. They don't use it, they use the arena. I know, they use the arena, don't they? Still pretty tall. Like, look right there, it's tall. Right here. Yeah, pretty deep. <laughs> Some places is deeper. Some places are deeper. All right, we were headed to the bar. No, we're not headed to the bar. We're headed to the vet to pick up Lexi. So this is a new vet. This is like, I have no idea how much, I don't even know how much it costs to get a cat spade or a dog spade right now. I didn't ask how much it was. I just said, could you do this? And then, so I always play these games with us. Like I'm a competitive person and I, I didn't know that about me before, but I always have to like play these games. Okay, so I asked the girls, how much do you think it costs? How much do you think it's gonna cost, Sam? I have all of our guesses down here. I'm gonna tell you guys. $229. Sam says $229 to get her spade. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell you our, our guesses. So Gabby guessed $130 to $200. Well, that's a, that's, that's not a guess, that's like a price range. Yeah, she guessed a range. No, you guessed $229. Sophie guessed three hundred and fifty dollars, and I guessed four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, it is a lot. Like, do you remember when we? I think you're crazy. <laughs> you're all crazy. All right, in the comments below, who do you think is right? Before we get there, this is why I like to play these games to educate my family on the cost of spaying and neutering your pet in Canada. So Gabby guessed 130 to 200. So Gabby guessed under 200. Sam guessed 230, 229 really. I guessed 450 and Sophie guessed 350. Comment below what you think it is. Whoever gets it right without going over is the winner of this contest. Do you want the shocking information or do you want the shocking information? <laughs> $550. No, there was something more shocking than the price. What? <laughs> She, in four more weeks, we are about to have baby kittens. We were about to? <laughs> we are going to have five of them. <laughs> a lot of you guys probably don't know, but in cold weather, like where we live, kittens don't, cats don't usually mate. There's, cats don't ov usually ovulate in really, really cold weather. So that's why, but yeah, basically, she's seven months. She was about to have her very first litter of kittens. That's just terrible. So, the bill, I videoed it so you could get it, was $432, so less than I thought. I thought it was gonna be $450, so I saved myself $20. $132 is not bad because That's I also cheating. did her, her, she's up to date on all of her shots now. Okay, but you didn't say that she was getting her shots done, she was getting lasers, thing done. Doesn't matter, I want you to know how much me. did you think it was gonna cost to go to the vet. You guys should know that we've been trying to get Lexi in to get spayed for months now, but because of COVID, we were unable to. In fact, we were still unable to get her into our regular vet and we had to change vets to get her done already. Usually in our area, cats start getting pregnant around February, so I was starting to get really panicky about getting her in and had to call a different vet and that's the only reason that we were able to get her spayed at all. So ideally, obviously, 
we would have got her spayed before she got pregnant. But I feel like a lot I feel like a lot of people are gonna go through the same issue because appointments where we live are really limited right now because of COVID. We just went through a big major lockdown and nobody was doing any surgeries and so yeah, I just wanna say that in my defense, you guys. I don't love the fact that she was pregnant. Like it bothers me a lot, but we did what we had to do and it won't happen again. Be really careful because I know. Yeah. That does mean I have it done. Hello. Okay. Oh, she's like, I don't understand. I want my boy. So was it a black cat or a brother? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think it was probably our brother, her brother. No, I think it was but the black cat. Wasn't All right, I think we should leave her here and let her come out when she's ready. But we should put her on the ground so she's not jumping. She's a little drug. They said don't give her too much food today because... Oh, she's soft. Well, getting spayed doesn't make you less soft. She has to stay inside a week, which is going to be a hard thing. Same with Ollie? Yeah, when he gets done. Oh, she's purring. I don't want this on my bed, though. It no. Stinks. All right, let's put it down. She's purring. She's purring, at least. You're Come purring. Out. Hi, sweet ladies. You ready? I love it that when suddenly we're feeling energetic, we've been doing all this stuff at home and we finally have time to relax and do the things that we like. This little barn's always here. It's always, oh, there's snow in the barn. Snow in the barn and hay in the barn. It's officially winter, guys. Officially winter. Sam fed the horses inside today because there was so much snow out there, he couldn't get them out the door. But Penny Pickle likes to be outside, and she is out there. Everybody comes running to me. They're like, hello, mama. Hello. Your girls are coming. Don't you worry. See, look, even though they could be eating all that beautiful hay, they are coming to us because they much prefer the sugar that we have in our pockets. Molly, come here. That's how much snow we got in Canada. Look how high it is. I watched on the news the other day that Texas got hay or Texas got snow and they were out there raking it with a, with a grass rake, with a lawn rake. That's what they do in Texas. Because they're not prepared. All right, Penny Pickle. It's time. It's time, my pretty princess. Oh my goodness! Oh my we didn't show you. Look at parents. that! Oh, Sophie got a ring. This is the one but look at this, my penny pickle. I don't have this. Come on, you're scaring my girl. Come on, you're okay. Come on, move, Sophie. She won't come. Not fist bump. She said, "Penny groceries." Okay, you guys go while my my oh, pony no, comes no, to me. No. You come in. They're oh, gone. Me. I kicked them out just for you. Yes, yeah, good girl, okay. Pen. Good girl, come on, follow me. Come on, I got more, more over there, where that's. Got lots more, Penny Pickle. Yes, pretty girl, yes. I lured her away from her hay, you guys. I lured her away from her hay, and she is coming. I'm gonna pick out her feet. I think her feet might have some snow. She is coming with me. Let's see if I can turn around. Yes, she's a good girl. She looks so much younger. Like the wind makes her eyes run a little bit, but she's not nearly as bad. So, I'm, whoa, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm gonna do some rubbing. Yeah, she used to hate this. She used to hate this. Look, she's got icicles on her nose. I'm gonna walk around. Neutral is when you walk around your whole entire horse and you jump and you skip and you make all this noise and commotion and your horse just stands still because she knows that I'm coming to her. Good girl, that's neutral. We struggled with neutral, you guys. All right, Penny Pickle, let's do your up here. This foot here. Good girl, let me look at it. Oh my goodness. Let me do this one. Oh my goodness, good girl. And then make her pick up this one. Good girl. And then this one. Good girl. I will clean your feet, Missy. Look at that. What a mess. Don't bring that thing around my pony. 
because we are just finally getting good. All right, so so today is going to be about getting her to go around the cone. Sophie got her pony. Gabby got her pony. All right, I'm just going to come over here and set the camera down. This is my favorite part of the week, you guys, working with our babies. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. the same thing too I wanna say forever we could be good together guess misery loves company better to late than never you know we could do better so take a chance and run with me everywhere we go we turn to paradise all I know is that I need you in my life let me show you how So this is exactly what you're supposed to do. All right, do it. Sometimes I have to get her started. Yeah, you're allowed to get her started. Like that's beautiful. That is beautiful right there. Good girl. All right, let's see you. I worried that my cone is too tight of a space for my girl. She's coming. Come on, she's like, I can do it. <laughs> you guys, I noticed a change in her eyes. Do you guys notice it? It's a softness that wasn't there before. Do you guys see it? It's a softness. Come on. Come on. This way. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Almost. Come on. Yeah, you try. Nice. 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 Yes. Good girl. Like the girl knows what she's supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh my goodness. How Willow started going to you. Mm -hmm. And then and you then drew started, her back. I started clicking and she's like, oh, I have to pay attention because I'm not going to treat I almost got it though. Come on. Okay, my turn. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. We'll go around in a circle. Going around in a circle. Good girl. Good girl. Right, not exactly the way I wanted her. I wanted to be able to stand still and put her around the circle, but she's doing it. Little Miss Show Off over there. <laughs> All right, we got some superstars in our group. Like, look at that. Good girl. So she's following me. And we're going in a circle, just not the right way. I'm supposed to, I'm meant to stand still. All right, come on. Come on. Good girl. You. Good girl. Yes. You did a full lap? So the other one that, okay, clearly, Gabby, you've mastered that. So the other one is where you get her to walk forward with you, and then you go off to the side. Yes, just like that, Sophie. 
Start right off to the side. Well, usually you wait for her to see you and you walk backwards. Watch Sophie. There we go. Sophie's got her draw happening. Oh, we don't run? No, you don't have to run. So watch. If I go like this, she should just follow right to me. Isn't that amazing? And then I should get her, but the problem is she should walk forward with me. Come on. And then I should jet out. The walking forward is a bit troublesome for us. And then see, I'm walking backwards. I'm walking backwards and she's doing it. Good girl. Good girl. The other one that's hard for us as well is that I'm supposed to be able to walk backwards. Yes, Penny Pickle. Yes. And I, so that's the weird thing. I find like when I wait a few days in between working with her, she thinks about the things that we were doing. Okay, so watch. That was fantastic. I'm gonna put the camera down and show you guys. down here fooling around with our horses you got to try it literally the most fun of life when your horse when you leave your horse and your horse doesn't get it your horse doesn't get it and then you come back two days later and your horse gets it so rewarding Look, I love you penny pickle you're getting so good <laughs> well you failed me so I put my hand on her I put my hand on her chest and I do this and I say back. Good girl. Oh, Gabby's got it. Yeah, let me see it, Gabby. One thing I know about me, I love beautiful chaos. I love chaos, you guys. Oh, like two days ago, my horse wouldn't do it and now suddenly she does it. That's it. Good job, Sophie. Yes, I am. Mainly my dog in the background, though. Because she's cute. Stop it. Stop it. I'm greasy. My puppy. Yeah, I don't think you, I don't think you can do it. All right, she's doing it. Yes. Perfect. To be honest, I've never seen Penny's ears more forward in the whole four months that I've owned her. She is really loving this training. She's loving being trained in a different way. She's loving her medicine. Like, I don't know if you can see the softness in her eyes that was never there before. The other day, we did a video where we tested to see if our horses love us. And for the first time in three years, Storm did not pick Gabby for the first time. He and I don't think it was Gabby's fault, and I don't think Gabby did anything wrong. But I believe that horses can tell the difference between control and domination versus love and acceptance. 
and I know people will be giving me all the reasons that you have to control them and dominate them and let them know that you're the boss and it's because they're big, they're dangerous, you have to be in control. But I can guarantee you that a horse that feels loved, a horse that feels accepted, a horse that is a horse that feels confident, a confident horse is not going to do things that hurt you and that kill you. And yeah, you can't just go out there and say I love you and everything be great. But I can tell you, horses know the difference between control and love. And I think Penny and my journey is to show you guys the difference. I think there are a lot of people out there that are out there to change the world yeah. and change the way we view animals. And I really hope that Penny helps me show you guys that there's a difference in that horses prefer yeah. love to control. I think they're done. Like you can usually tell you're supposed to leave them wanting more and I'm going to go and get some stuff to pick her feet while she stands there. Like this, li these little exercises make it, are gonna make, are gonna make such a huge change for us. She's coming. She's like, don't leave me yet. I'm just gonna pick her feet because sometimes when you get snow shoved in there, then rocks get attached to it and it's just not a very comfortable feeling. All right, Penny Pickle. Good girl, yeah, you are such a good girl. Penny, that's a wrap, my love. We'll Penny, see you. Can I take a photo for Snapchat? Can you please put your ears up? It will make you look very pretty. There's a pony coming up on her butt. Here, pen. That was a bad light, anyways. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you can. Don't you know that you're